And with head coach Brian Hales with the uh, Butler Bulldogs. Uh, coach Hales, talk about your uh, performance in the scrimmage tonight. Uh, you know, I think overall it was a good first scrimmage for us. Um, you know, things that I'm looking for is, number one, their intensity and their effort. Um, you know, are they going to bring that? Are they ready for, you know, to, you know, to face off against another team? So obviously, you know, the, the, the type of stuff you really can't coach. You know, right. just seeing if they got that self-motivation about them that once the lights are on, they're going to be able to perform. Then from there, you know, you want to look at assignments. You, you know, make sure the guys know their stuff and, and they're all buckled up and things like that. So, you know, from an assignment perspective, we were we were good. We were mm-hmm. good. I mean, I think we were great. I think we could have done things a lot better. But um, as far as first scrimmages go, I mean, I'll take that one. I'll good. take that one. But, you know, with the caveat that if we play like this again, I'm not going to be real happy about it. <laughs> you know? So that was your one. Get that one out of your system and some mm. of those mistakes. And, you know, get them correct and we'll get better. Great, great. So talk a little bit about uh, – your off season, how did it go for you guys? Off season was great. Off season was great. Um, you know, kids came in real motivated in January, just right from the get go. I mean, they honestly they were chomping at the bit because they had a lot of time off from the end of the season to January, <laughs> a little more than we're comfortable with. So, right. you know, they came in real motivated and really had some guys, you know, identify themselves as leaders, you know, through their actions, through their efforts. So. That was great. That was great to see that, you know, right off the jump. And, you know, and that's when we really started to realize with this team, they really just enjoy each other. You know, they're, they're happy for each other when they have success. It doesn't seem to be any kind of, you know, animosity or jealousy. You know, some are getting, you know, recruited a little bit heavier, a little bit sooner than others. So, mm-hmm. you know, when you have guys that are genuinely happy for the other ones, that, you know, that kind of leads you to some good things. So, real happy at the offseason. Made a lot of gains. Um, you know, but it was just one aspect of it. Great, yeah. great. Now, talk, uh, tell us some, about some of your key players you got coming up this year. Well, I mean, you know, looking at them tonight, you know, I, I think Mo, Maurice McLean, I mean, jumped, Dang. jumped off the page Dang. tonight. I, he was outstanding up front on defense. And you know, I think the D-line and the whole defensive front as a whole, I, I thought they did a great job, especially when you consider that, you know, two of the outside, two of the returning starters uh, weren't here tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we were holding them out, and mm-hmm. you know, one had a family situation. So, and offensive line wise, likewise. I mean, we held mm-hmm. a couple of guys out tonight. So, you know, thing I saw was guys that, that filled in for them, um, very much stepped up. So, so that was a great thing to see. You know, guys being able to say, "Hey, I am the next man." You know, everybody talks about next man up now. So, mm-hmm. you know, these guys got a taste of what it's like to be that next man up. So. I was real happy to see, you know, guys like like, like a Brandon Mazzone step up and, and, you know, for Christian tonight in the inside and Caleb Simmons, who, you know, started a bunch of games for us last year, but he did a great job on the outside. But um, Jalen was saying that was outstanding tonight. I mean, really? his motor is just off the charts and he's just, he's so much more comfortable now at linebacker. You know, we were playing him at DN quite a bit last year, so we moved him back this year and just such an athlete and just with his wrestling background, it was just, I was just real proud and real happy for him tonight. You know, offensively, I thought, um, you know, some of the guys on the offensive line, Devin Smith, you know, obviously his third year as a starter, he did a great mm-hmm. job for us. Um, certainly like to see us, you know, get a couple of things cleaned up. We had some, you know, some snap issues tonight. Right. But, mm-hmm. you know, we're breaking in a new center, you know, but it's a kid who started a lot of games for us. I started every game last year. We're moving in from guard to center. Okay. So that stuff will come. That oh, stuff yeah. will come. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, that's one one area, obviously, we got to get corrected. But, yeah, Devin did a great job up front. I was real pleased with the running backs tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, Nigeria nice cool. Peoples, you know, obviously was the first one out there mm-hmm. and did a great job. Um, you know, and then we had a freshman who makes the plays tonight, too. Um, Jamal Worthy stepped in, and, mm-hmm. you know, he played a lot with the JV guys tonight, but he got some varsity reps, too, and you know, had a big run there on our, our, yeah. our, our, last, of our, uh, our last play tonight. So, you know, I, like I said, I thought we saw some really good flashes tonight, and, you um, you know, more than anything, it's just it'll identify for the kids when they put on the film tonight the areas that they see that they've got to get better at. Excellent, Coach. So you guys are on Friday are going up to uh, A.L. Brown. Up to A.L. Brown. Up to A.L. Brown. So, you know, it'll be fun, too, because, you know, Coach Newsom, obviously, they're doing a lot of the same stuff offensively. Oh, so, you know, so our kids won't be seeing anything they're not familiar with. But, you know, it's always good to go up and see Mike and, and, and Hags and those guys. And, oh, um, you know, so we'll get up there tomorrow, you know, Friday night and, Hopefully we're a little better. All right, Coach. We appreciate the time. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks.